Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Mluka IS. Today we would be discussing the topics from Art and Culture. It's chapter number 2 from our own book Art and Culture by Mluka IS. We would be discussing the chapter number 2 of that. Other chapters will also soon be uploaded on a regular basis. That chapter number 2 is Religion in India. That's very very important. Kai wari haan se questions bante hain. Out of the philosophy of every particular religion which you should be knowing. So starting from this, friends, एक बार definitely याद रखिए कि जो मोटी मोटी किताबें हैं art and culture की, so called काफी hit books चल रही हैं. जिस तरीके से हमने book marking करी थी, for example, शंकर की, for example, polity की, लक्ष्मीकांत की जो और भी books करते रहेंगे. वहां से क्या पता लगता है कि 500 400 पेजेस में से जो पढ़ने के काम होते हैं वो 100 150 पेज ही होता है और शंकर में तो उससे भी कम है सेम इज द केस विद अदर बुक्स फॉर एग्जांपल कोई भी आर्ट एंड कल्चर की बुक है उसमें से जो काम का है अलग-अलग बुक्स में जो इंपॉर्टेंट दिया हुआ है गवर्नमेंट वेबसाइट पे दिया हुआ है यू आर वर्किंग ऑन दैट ओनली एंड जो जो काम का है हम सिर्फ वही डिस्कस करेंगे फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू extra sirf knowledge show karne ke liye jo kuch aur wo kuch nahi hoga it will be sticking to the points important from upsc perspective and those topics would be discussed i would advise all the student to cover every subject comprehensively there are some chances ki due to corona virus the exam may get delayed also agar delay hota hai exam we have to formulate a strategy that is comparatively flexible ऐसा नहीं कि पहले बार आ, ऐसा हो रहा है पहले ही पहले भी कई बार फॉर एग्जांपल 15 14 ऐसा कुछ आ, उस टाइम के ऊपर भी अगस्त सितंबर अगस्त के आसपास प्रीलिम्स हुआ है सेम थिंग कैन बी डन अगेन कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है अगर होता है तो मेंस वुड आल्सो बी डिलेड फॉर एग्जांपल दिसंबर के आसपास चला जाएगा सो वी डू नॉट नीड टू फोकस कि पेपर होगा कि नहीं होगा लेट होगा टाइम पे होगा बिकॉज़ दैट इज नॉट अवर पार्ट हाँ अगर चेंज होता है तो स्ट्रेटजी विल आल्सो बी चेंजिंग एंड वी वुड बी अगेन डिस्कसिंग अपॉन दैट आल्सो चलो स्टार्ट करते हैं चैप्टर नंबर टू से दैट इज रिलिजन इन इंडिया फ्रेंड्स इंडिया जैसे आपको पता है इज अ सेक्युलर स्टेट एंड द फोर्टी सेकेंड अमेंडमेंट एक्ट टॉक्स अबाउट इट दे आर डिफरेंट इंपॉर्टेंट रिलीजन दैट आर देयर दैट आर देयर इन आवर कंट्री हिंदुजम इज देयर Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism, multiple religions are being prevalent in India. And therefore, it, it, has to, it is bound that we should become a secular state. When Hinduism ki baat karte hai, it borrows its principle basically from pre-Vedic and Vedic philosophies that were prevalent. Vedas or ke time ke upar aur se pehle wali philosophies. जब लिखा गया तो श्रुति या श्रुति मतलब टू बी हर्ड सो भगवान की आप आराधना में बैठे हैं और भगवान आपको जो ज्ञान दे रहे हैं उसकी आ, उनके भगवान के साथ जब पाठ पूजा कर रहे हैं तो वो जो ज्ञान भगवान ने आपको दिया दैट इज श्रुति नेक्स्ट एक और होता है दैट इज स्मृति स्मृति शब्द का मतलब है जो आपने अपने मुताबिक अपने अनुसार सोसाइटी को देखा और उस सोसाइटी को देखने के बाद जो ट्राइंग टू फिक्स वेरियस गाइडलाइंस रूल्स लॉज रेगुलेशंस आप अपने मुताबिक बनाने की कोशिश करते हैं उसको बोलते हैं स्मृति जैसे बनु स्मृति या और बहुत सारी स्मृतिज हैं जो बात का पाठ बनती है श्रुति इट इज वैदिक लिटरेचर जो पाठ क्या बनता है ऋग्वेद सामवेद साम शब्द का मतलब है म्यूजिक नेक्स्ट इज यूर्वेद दैट उसमें क्या दिया सेक्रीफाइशियल हाइम्स जो भी सेक्रीफाइस करने के टाइम के ऊपर जो हम हाइम्स पढ़ते हैं मंत्र पढ़ते हैं उसके बारे में दिया हुआ है नेक्स्ट इज अथर्ववेद अथर्ववेद बेसिकली नॉन आर्यन वेद है आर्यंस ने नहीं नॉन आर्यंस का लिखा हुआ है इसमें क्या दिया हुआ है बेसिकली ट्राइबल पीपल है तो वो जादू टोने में काफ़ी बिलीव करते हैं देर फोर मैजिक्स चाम्स स्पेल्स medicines multiple these things they have basically been referred in the atharvaved ja post vedic literature ki bare mein baat aati hai it is brahmas ya brahmin se ki baat hai that means commentaries 
दैट इज एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द मंत्र मंत्र तो आपने दे दिया लेकिन उस मंत्र को जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल दोहा है और उसको हम एक्सप्लेन करते हैं व्याख्या करते हैं उसी तरीके से कमेंट्रीज और एक्सप्लेनेशन आर बेसिकली गिवन ऑन मंत्राज रनएक्स रनएक्स बेसिकली मीन फॉरेस्ट बुक्स दैट आर देयर द द बेसिक फिलोसफी बिहाइंड द रिचुअल सेक्रीफाइस ऑफ द वेदास वो उस फिलोसफी क्या है कि इस रिचुअल्स को इस सेक्रीफाइस को जो वेदा में दिया हुआ उसको समझाने के लिए कुछ लोग जो जंगलों में चले गए थे वहाँ पे जाके जो बुक्स लिखी अरण्यक शब्द का मतलब है फॉरेस्ट अरण्यकाज जो फॉरेस्ट में जाके सीजस ने बुक्स लिखी संहिता मीन्स मंत्र टेस्ट एंड नेक्स्ट इज उपनिषद उपनिषद में क्या दिया हुआ इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दीज आर बेसिकली फिलोसफिकल कंसेप्ट जो स्पेकुलेशन है जो रियलिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ उपनिषद मीन्स टू सिट नियर सम वन टू सिट नियर द फोर्ट्स ऑफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल गुरु और जो गुरु आपको ज्ञान देंगे उसको बोलते हैं उपनिषद गुरु आपके बारे में बताएंगे नॉलेज ऑफ योर सेल्फ द रिलेशन बिटवीन आत्मा एंड परमात्मा ऑल दीज फिलोसफिकल स्पेकुलेशन एंड कंसेप्ट विल बेसिकली बी एक्सप्लेन इन उपनिषद तो आपको कई बार क्या आता है मैच द फॉलोइंग भी पूछा जा सकता है कौन किसके लिए है Initially, the sacrifices were basically done in open air, or later, बाद में the images they began and temples etc. they started to be built later on. Upanishad में four stages of life दिया हुआ है वो आश्रम सिस्टम जिसको बोलते हैं ब्रह्मस्था गृहस्था वन परस्था एंड सन्यासी ब्रह्मचार्य जब बच्चा ब्रह्मचार्य होता है और अपनी नॉलेज के लिए घर पे छोड़ के चला जाता है तो उपनयन सेरेमनी उसके लिए करी जाती है सेक्रेड थ्रेड सेरेमनी जो हिंदुज़म में होती है गृहस्था जब पढ़ के बच्चा वापस आ जाता है फिर अपना शादी होती है बच्चे होते हैं एक्सेट्रा वन प्रस्था कुछ टाइम के लिए पच्चीस साल ब्रह्मचार्य पच्चीस साल गृहस्था पच्चीस साल वन प्रस्था अब जंगल में चले जाओगे फिर वापस आ जाओगे सटन पीपल दे डू नॉट कम बैक और वहीं जंगलों में रह जाते हैं दैट कम्स इन टू द एंट्रेंस द फोर्थ स्टेज ऑफ द आश्रम दैट इज़ द सन्यासी आश्रम नेक्स्ट फ्रेंड्स देयर आर वेरियस सेक्ट्स विच आर देयर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इम्पॉर्टेंट सेक्ट्स जो हैं हिंदुज़म में वैश्वनिज़म हो गया शैविज़म हो गया काफ़ी अच्छे इम्पॉर्टेंट सेक्ट्स हैं द वैश्नव के दे आर बेसिकली द फॉलोअर्स आर नोन एज वैश्नवाइट्स दे वर फोकसिंग अपॉन लॉर्ड विष्णु एंड इज टेन इनकारनेशन इट बिलीव्स एंड प्रैक्टिस स्पेशली फॉर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ भक्ति एंड योग भक्ति एंड भक्ति योग आर बींग देयर दे आर बेसिकली बेस्ड लार्जली ऑन द उपनिषद उपनिषद के ऊपर भी है एंड एसोसिएटेड विद अदर टेक्सट ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेदास में फॉर एग्जाम्पल पुरानिक टेक्स्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल भगवद गीता या पद्म पुराण विष्णु पुराण भगवत पुराण इन सब के बारे सब में वैष्णविज्म के बारे में एक्सप्लेन किया हुआ है वेरियस स्टेप्स हैव ऑल्सो बीन टेकन टू प्रोपोगेट द वैष्णविज्म एज अ सेक्ट इन द रिसेंट ईयर ऑल्सो गोडिया वैष्णव वैष्णव ब्रांच इज ऑल्सो वर्किंग इंटरनेशनली टू क्रिएट अवेयरनेस मंग वेरी वेरी वैष्णविज्म Hari Krishna movement is also there, also working upon the same thing. Vakti Vedanta Swami Prabhu Pada is basically working in the New York City. Was there 1966? They come kare basically to create awareness among Vaishnavism and Lord Vishnu and his ten incarnations. Shivism ke baare mein baat karte hain. It is God Shiv that is being worshipped as a supreme being. Shiv is all in all. is the creator the preserver the revealer the concealer of all that is is all powerful all supreme being the devotees of shiv they wear sacred ash as a secretarian mark on their forehead jo ash hoti hai wo apne forehead pe lagate hain and also kai apni body ke alag alag parts pe the sanskrit word bash and vibhuti can both be translated into sacred ash तो दो ऐश है जो इंसान अपनी बॉडी पे लगाते हैं वेरी हाई अमाउंट ऑफ वेरी हाई क्वालिटी लिटरेचर इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल मल्टीपल फिलोसफिकल स्कूल्स आर देयर इंक्लूडिंग नॉन ड्यूलिस्ट अभेद ड्यूलिस्ट बेद मतलब इंसान और भगवान में अभेद है कोई डिफरेंस नहीं है बेद मीन्स दोनों में डिफरेंस है नॉन ड्यूलिज्म विद ड्यूलिज्म बेद अभेद परस्पेक्टिव वेद है अभेद है उस परस्पेक्टिव को अलग अलग schools of shivism have explained 
and various philosophical interpretations have also been done. Shakti, Shashaktism. It basically focuses on the worship of Shakti or Devi, that is the Hindu Divine Mother, that is absolute and ultimate Godhood for all. Devi is or a Shakti that is basically regarded as the supreme Brahman itself. With all forms of divinity, male or female, considered being merely her diverse manifestation, lag lag uske manifestation hai Shakti ki to hume dekhne ko milti hai. When we discuss in detail, to a great extent, Shakti it resembles Shaivism. Shaktas focus most and all worship of Shakti, with a divine major major focus is basically being given on the supreme divine also. Shaktism is practiced throughout Indian subcontinent and also beyond in numerous forms, tantric and non-tantric form may be worship kiya jata hai. They, for example, Shirikul, visible schools are strongest in South India. Kalikul, for example, the family of Kalimata, which reveals which is basically being prevailing in the east, northern or the eastern part of India. Next is Smartism. They are basically a liberal or non secretarian denomination. Of all the Vedic Hindu religions which are there, accept all the major Hindu deities as form of one Brahma. It is basically a common term hai Samartha, jiska matlab hai, those people who follow the Vedas and the Shastras. Only one section of South Indian Brahmin call themselves as Samartha now, because they are following Vedas and Shastras. They are basically followers and propagators of Smriti literature. The Smarta religion was practiced by the people who believed in the authority of the Vedas and also on the basic premises that was premise that was given by the Puranas. As a consequence of all these, it is said that it is only a Brahman who is comparatively preferred to use the term to his family tradition also. There is a good amount of difference that is prevailing between Vaishnavism and Shaivism. The first thing is their followers of Vaishnavism, they are basically referred to as Vaishnavite and jo Shivji ke followers of Shaivism ke usko Shaivite bola jata hai. Vaishnavism believes in the supremacy of Lord Vishnu or Shaivism mein supremacy, the supreme power is basically given to Lord Shiv. This is, this is one of the main difference between the two. Vaishnavism was jointly founded by many great religious leaders. But good amount of credit is basically being given to Ramanujacharya, who was there, who lived in southern part of the country and propagated the uh, Vaishnavism in the 12th century AD. He is basically said to be the profounder of Vashisht Advait. That basically explain what are the principles of Vaishnavism. In addition to him, there are other several leaders also who have propagated it. For example, Yamuna Charya, a very big name along with Ramanuja Charya and Vedanta Desika. On the other hand, when you talk about Shaivism, it is basically the philosophy of Ardhavad that was basically founded by Adi Shankara in the 8th century. Ardhavad, no two. Dvait, Dvait means though, a means no to. What he did was he gathered very uh, few disciples and disproved some of the principles of Mimansa to establish Mimansa ke principles ko disapprove, disproved kiya and establish the Advait philosophy. In the context that no to ni hoge, therefore it believes in oneness of living being. And it is believed the fact that the oneness was basically brought about by innate power of the supreme soul called Brahma. Is Brahma ki supreme power ki wajasi. On the other hand, yahan pe hai Ardhavat. Friends, isko aap focus kari Ardhavat no to. And Vaishnavism believed in the principle of qualified monism. Vashishta Dvait jisko bolte hai. Ye Ardhavat hai, ye Vashishta Dvait hai. Shaivism is based on the philosophy of Ardhavad. Lord Shiv is basically being spoken as the Supreme Brahma. 
which has given birth to many individual selves. On the other hand, it is Lord Vishnu who is considered as a supreme god in Vaishnavism. He is basically the protector and sustains the universe himself. Lakshmi is in, is his consort and they stay. He stay in the Vaikuntha region. He is reclining. Up to when pictures we see, reclining on the serpent bed of the Adi Shesh. That is it. Next important modern phase Hinduism. You will see in different places. For example, Brahmosma. When we have modern history, we did this. So at that time, we also did this topic. We did it quite comprehensively. Brahmosma. Basically, in 1828, the Raja Ramon Roy's contribution came into the context. They forbade any idols, meaningless rituals that were there. The greatest achievement was basically seen in the context of abolition of sati, जो हमने पहले भी किया हुआ है. Raja Ramon Roy, he was basically against sati. Attempts were being made. Regulation 17 आता है. Regulation 17 के context में कि Bengal में था पहले sati ban किया जाए, फिर 1830 में पूरी country में कर दिया. He advocated that abolition of polygamy should be done. And wanted that women should be educated and they should be given the right to inherit the property also. Various branches were opened at different parts of the country. Two important persons who joined the Brahmo Smaj later on was Kesh uh, Devendana Tagore first and then Keshav Chandra Sen. The differences came up because of the differences that were there in 1866. The Brahmo Samaj was divided. Differences kya tha? basically Devendana Tagore or Keshav Chandra Sen me. They were basically in the context that Keshav Chandra Sen was wanting that uh, the branches of Brahmosma should be opened beyond Bengal also. And the religious scriptures of all the important religions should be kept. That was not liked by the Vendana Tagore, which is why the two divisions came They basically advocated the perform the intercaste marriages can be done, widow remarriage, parda etc. He promoted the widow and the marriage and the marriage and condemned the caste divisions also. Later on, in 1878, the next division was in Keshav Chandrasen's Brahmo Samaj. Next is Ramakrishna Mission. Basically, founded by the disciple of Ramakrishna, that is Swami Vivekananda. And basically, in 1897, the focus was on social services. He says that the best tarika agar insan bhagwan ko serve karna hai, it is basically serving the mankind. That can be the best way that can be out. Therefore, numerous centers they started coming up of this part. Various relief activities were also being organized during the floods, famines, hospitals were opened up, education institutions were opened up, etc. Next is Arya Smaj. 1875 mein pehle Bombay mein and later on, the Anand Saraswati, later on, the head, uh, it was shifted to Lahore. The emphasis was on liberation of the Hindu society. It was said that, the true knowledge di hui hai, wo Vedas mein hi hai. The Vedas, they contain the true knowledge, the principles of economics, he says, the principles of politics, social sciences, the principle of humanities, all these things are basically being found in the Vedas. Therefore, he said that he gave a call that we should go back to the Vedas and rejected the other scriptures that were there, for example, the Puranas, etc. and condemned all the prevailing evils in the society. He said that we have to have a simplified Hinduism and made effort in this regard also. He said that the Hindus should not look towards Christianity or Islam or the West on how they can be guided in their life. They should be looking towards Hinduism. Next is the Bhakti movement. Bhakti movement ki jo friends baat karte hai, northern part of the country, two important streams they develop. Nirguna movement, Bhakti and Saguna Bhakti. Nirguna, jab, uh, for example, kya sakta formless god hai the devotees of the formless god even while they call him by various names for example ram govind hari ho gaye ja for example and the ragunath ho gaye and the, they were basically conspicuous uh, the most important among them jo unki puja karte hain for example is 
Kabir, Nanak. Another form is Sagun Bhakta. They are basically those which are focusing upon the image worship that formless nahi hai, form god hai, uh, Ram Bhagwan ke ho sakte hai, Krishna Bhagwan ke etc. Tulsidas who idolized Ram that was basically done in his Ram Charitmanas. Surdas has also sang in the praises of the Lord Krishna. Rakshan, who was basically a Muslim poet and who was a devotee of the Lord Krishna, also continued the tradition. The use of the terms, for example, Krishna, Gopi, Radha, Yamuna, Ganga, etc., they were very common in the medieval part. That an eminent Suf, a Sufi saint, for example, Mir Abdul Wahid, wrote a treatise by the name Hakik e Hindi basically to explain their Islamic equivalents. Kabir ke dohe hain is worshipping of the uh, ki agar aap patthar ko worship karoge ala pulagta ki patthar mein bhagwan pa jayega to aap pahadon ko worship kar sakte ho. It was better to worship the stone floor grinder because at least they could be aap aate ki chakki wala aapka aapko aata to de raha hai. Similar to the ideas of the Sufis came the logic of the gurus and the spiritual teachers at that point of time. And that gave a good amount of hope, strength and inner courage to the people. Ki aap bhakti hai, aap inner form mein practice kar sakti hoon. This brought in the system of pahal, that is sanctified waters offered by the master to the people or shishya. Now later on that uh, developed version usme dekhne ko milta hai, that is basically in the context of Sikhism. The Sikhs performed washing of the sword ceremony, Khande Ka Pohal, evolving as the Peer Murid custom, that is Saint Soldier concept later on which developed. Buddhism started in India approximately 2600 years ago. That was a religion that transformed the person to a great extent and was common or a prevalent not only in India but also in South and Southeastern countries also. The founder was Siddharth Gautam who was born in 563 BC. He was a born in a royal family of the Shakya clan who basically ruled in the Kapilavastu region that is Indo-Nepal border ke pass. 29 years ki age mein he left home all the riches and other things and he started practicing asceticism or extreme discipline. Later on he was very clear that we have to follow a middle path. Na to extreme pleasure se kaam banega aur na hi bilkul aish karne se kaam banega. Da for example, bilkul strict rehne se kaam banega. Therefore, middle path has to be followed. The meditation continued for 49 days and therefore he was successful to attain bodhihood or enlightenhood under a people tree at Bodh Gaya in Bihar. And therefore, first sermon that was given was basically in Sarnath, in the village of Sarnath. And that is basically referred to as Dharma Chakra Pravartana. Ki pure ke pure dharma ke chakra ko hi ap samjha rahe hai, turning the wheels of law. He continued to propagate his ideology and died and passed away at the age of 80 years in 463 BC at a town called Kushinagar. And the event is referred to as Mahaparinirvan. Important principles or tenets are there. He uh, asked his followers to avoid the extreme of pleasure and extreme pain also. Dono ke avoid kare. And therefore, what is ideology is basically focused on Madhya Marga. According to him, everyone is responsible for his or her own happiness and stress that person is going through. The main teachings of Buddhism are basically in the concept of four noble truth. An eightfold path or Asht Angika Marg. Asht means eight, Ang means fold. Asht Angika Marg that has been propounded. First, Four Noble Truth. Dukh hai. Dukh suffering is the sense of the world and it is the basic cause is every suffering has a cause. Cause is Samudhya, that is desire. Agar suffering has a cause, the Dukh hai, Dukh ka karan hai, usko khatam bhi kiya ja sakta hai and Nirvan can be attained. When nirvana attain karna hai to follow eightfold path. What is the eightfold path? 
basically it interconnected activities are related to knowledge related to conduct and related to the meditative practices which are being prevalent kya hai right view right intention speech action livelihood mindfulness effort and concentration these are the eight fold path which has been provided by lord buddha dukh suffering and the extinction of suffering is something that is central to buddhism the sense of buddhism is basically how the enlightenment can be attained the point to the way of life and basically ko point karta hai avoid self indulgence or self denial there is no supreme god or deity in buddhism the ultimate goal of buddha teaching is aap kis tarike se nirvana attain kar sakte ho and that nirvana has to be attained in the life itself he also established the code of a conduct that was there for the monastic order monastic rules that has to be followed and there are five precepts of panchil that a person should refrain from the person should refrain from violence from stealing from sexual misconduct from lying or gossip or for example from taking intoxicant substances or drink or drugs the basic text of basically buddha's teaching was oral and he continued in the same way addressing the people for 45 years the sang memorized the teachings and there were groups that were when these teachings were being recited and there were they were being rehearsed and authenticated for example in the first council that was there and also later on when the pitaks were written pitaks means literature three pitaks are there vinay pitak basically consist of the rules of conduct and discipline applicable to monastic law that is there vinay means rule law regulations sut pitaks basically contains the teachings of or dhamma fud dig nikaye majjim nikaye samyukta nikaye anguttar nikaye khuddak nikaye all these things are basically containing the main teachings or philosophy of ideology of buddha teachings of buddha abhidham pitak mein philosophical analysis hai and systematization of the teachings and scholarly activity that were being undertaken by monks they are basically being explained analyzed analyzed basically in there the important buddhist texts are divya vadan deepavans mahavans milinda panha they are the important text buddhism ki text compile hui alag alag literature ke context pe alag alag councils kare gayi four important councils are there pehli it was basically held soon after the mahapari nirvan of buddha in 483 bc the king was ajat shatru and the presided over by mahakashyap was a monk कहाँ पे हुई राजगृह हुई इट वॉज एट दिस दैट रूल्स ड्यूरिंग दिस काउंसिल टीचिंग्स ऑफ बुद्धा वर डिवाइडेड लेटर ऑन इन टू थ्री पिटेक्स और उसका फाइनल कंपाइलेशन अलग अलग टाइम पे हुआ विनय पिटेक एंड सुत पिटेक इस टाइम पे लिखे गए थे सेकेंड बुद्धिस्ट काउंसिल वॉज बेसिकली हेल्ड इन वैशाली विद अ किंग वॉज काला अशोक एंड प्रेजिडेंट वॉज सबक अमी इट वॉज हंड्रेड ईयर्स आफ्टर बुद्धिज्म डेथ ऑफ बुद्ध थर्ड टू फिफ्टी काउंस टू फिफ्टी बी सी में हुआ पाटलिपुत्रा में द पर्सन किंग वॉज अशोक एंड मोगलीपुत्रिस इट वॉज वेन द फाइनल कंपाइलेशन ऑफ द थर्ड पिटक दैट इज अविदम पिटक वॉज बिंग डन फोर्थ काउंसिल बेसिकली हेल्ड इन सेवेंटी टू एटी इन कश्मीर इन कुंडलोवन रीजन प्रजाइडेड ओवर वाई वासुमित्रा एंड इज डेपुटी वॉज अश्वघोश किंग वॉज कुशान it was at this point of time that buddhism was divided into two that is hinayan and mahayan the final division was being done maha means vig ayan means big vehicle greater vehicle hin means small or the smaller vehicle ayan it basically mahayanism it believes in heavenliness of buddha and idol worship wo idol worship mein believe karte hain northern india mein originate hua इन कश्मीर रीजन नॉर्दर्न इंडिया रीजन और फिर सेंट्रल एशिया ईस्टर्न एशिया साउथ ईस्ट एशिया में प्रोपोगेट हो गया और बाद में अदर्स कंट्रीज में चाइना तिब्बत कोरिया जापान में गया हिनियान मीन्स अबंडन वाइकल डिफेक्टिव वाइकल औरिजिनल टीच ये कहा जाता है कि औरिजिनल टीचिंग से साथ ये संबंध रखते हैं दे डिड नॉट बिलीव इन आइडल वर्शिप और कह रहे थे कि अगर ना ही ये बुद्ध को भगवान मानते हैं इज़ वन ऑफ द ग्रेट टीचर्स दे एज दे बिलीव 
Theravad is an Indian sect. Theravad is considered as ki sabse ancient branch of Buddhism ki and is preserving the teachings of Buddha in the original form and developed in uh, no, different countries, for example, Sri Lanka, Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, etc. Next is Vajrayan. Vajrayan means the vehicle of thunderbolt. That is also known as Tantric Buddhism. It developed in approximately around 900 AD. It is grounded on historic elements and very complex set of rituals compared to the basic or the simple philosophy that was being propounded by Buddhism. Yen school. It is basically a school of Mahayanism that originated in China and later developed in various other parts and spread to Japan also. It is basically focusing upon meditation is the most important and the distincting features of Zen school. Spread of Buddhism has two kind of disciples. One is mo uh, monks that is Vikshus and the lay disciples, lay worshippers that is Opasikas. The monks were organized into Sangh for the purpose that how the region has to be spread and Sangh organization is governed on the democratic lines. Basically how the enforcement of the discipline can be done. Owing to the organized efforts that were made by the Sangh, Buddhism made very rapid progress in the northern part of the country. For 200 years, Buddhism remained overshadowed by their Hindu counterparts until the modern age Ashoka who made a great effort. Buddhist councils that were held basically third Buddhist council who were the people were dispatched they were sent missionaries were sent to different countries to propagate the ideologies of Buddhism Gandhara, Kashmir, Greece, Sri Lanka, Burma etc they were being sent Nashoka made great great contribution in this regard and Buddhism also contributed to a great extent to Indian culture. Buddhism made a remarkable contribution in the concept of Ahimsa that was the most important contribution. Its contribution was also can be seen in the context of art and literature where the stupas at Sanchi, the stupas at Barhut, the stupas at Gaya, they are wonderful pieces of architecture. It also promoted education through residential universities. Lag lag jaga pe khuli universities jo Buddhism ke saath related thi. For example, Takshila, Nalanda, Vikramshila, etc. The language that was used by these people were basically the Pali language and therefore the development of this language also took place. Another contribution is basically ki amara culture dusri Asian countries may be spread hua. So this is what you should be knowing basically regarding Buddhism. Next ideology is basically Jainism. Jainism is a very ancient religion and as per the tradition it is as old as Vedic religion. There have been 24 Jain Tirthankaras and the last one was Vardhamana Mahavir. The first Tirthankara was Rishabdev or Rishwanath and 23rd was Parshavnath was basically born in Varanasi and lived around 7th or 8th century BC. All Tirthankaras are Kshatriyas by birth. Teachings of Jainism. They rejected various Vedic principles that were there. They did also did not believe in the existence of God. According to them, the universe is basically a product of the cosmic or the natural phenomenon that have its cause and effect. They believed in the karma and transmigration of the soul also. The body dies but the soul does not die. And say that one will be punished for his or her own karma. Advocated the policy of or the life of austerity, non-violence. Uh, Strict discipline has to be maintained. And they emphasized that there has to be equality that was there. And did not reject the caste system unlike Buddhism. But he also said that Man may be good or bad and that will be depending upon his action or and not the birth. Asceticism has taken to the great length. Starvation, nudity, self-mortification, they were being exam, exam, uh, expounded. 
two elements of the world that is jeev and atma that is consciousness and unconsciousness they are basically being focused upon three ratna ka concept hai teen ratan ka concept hai jainism mein that is right faith right knowledge and right conduct फेथ किसके ऊपर रखना है अपने तीर्थंकारास के ऊपर नॉलेज किसकी रखनी है अपने उनकी फिलॉसफी की और उस फिलॉसफी के साथ चलते हुए ही अपने राइट कंडक्ट करना है फॉर एग्जांपल फाइव वोज विच आर देर उनके ऊपर आपने काम करना है अहिंसा सत्य अस्त्य परिग्रह एंड ब्रह्मचार्य नॉन वायलेंस ट्रुथ बोलेंगे नॉट स्टील नॉट अक्वायर एनी प्रॉपर्टी दैट डज डोंट बिलोंग टू यू and brahmacharya abstinence that we would be exercising <coughs> there was a split in jainism also division of jainism what took place when badrabahu he left for south india and sthulbahu he basically remained in the northern northern part of the country and sthulbahu who was remaining in the northern part of the country they changed the code of conduct and started wearing white clothes therefore that led to a split that is fishwetambra means shwet means white basically those people who were there in the northern part of the country and the gambra means a sky clad basically sadhners who do not fear any clothes and they stay naked kis tarike se buddhism mein alag alag councils hai jainism mein bhi do councils hai the first jain council was basically 3rd century bc mein hua patlipitra mein and sthalbahu was the president सेकेंड काउंसिल हुए वल्लभी इन गुजरात इन फाइव सेंचुरी ए डी प्रजाइडेड बाई दी एंड ट्वेल्व अंगाज दैट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट लिटरेचर दैट बिलोंग्स टू श्वेतम्बरा दैट वॉज कम्पाइल एट दिस प्लेस द दिगम्बरा दे डू नॉट बिलीव इन दिस काउंसिल्स नॉट द लिटरेचर स्पेड ऑफ जर्नलिज्म इट एडमिटेड बोथ women's and shudras also and the language that was used comparatively was the common language of the masses that is prakrit 200 years after the death of <coughs> mahavir a famine had come over this ki wajah se badrabahu had went to south india and sthulbahu north india mein reh gaye the baad mein differences emerge hone ki wajah se the buddhism was uh, jainism was split into two contribution it was an attempt that was being made to overcome the limitations of the varna system and ritualistic vedic hinduism that was prevailing prakritic was the common language that was adopted that grew out of prakritic languages different languages emerged for example short sani etc jain they also composed earliest important work for example in abramsa <coughs> and prepared its first grammar so grammar also and contributed to the growth of various <coughs> other language languages also for example kannad important terms are there jo aapko pata hona chahiye then one of the most important term in jainism is basadi basadi kya hota hai jain monastery or monastic establishment jisko aap basadi bolte hain jainism mein religious literature <coughs> is written in the language for example ardha magdi and the text was finally compiled in balavi in gujarat when the second buddhist council was basically being held yahan pe <coughs> next important religion in india is basically christianity jesus christ he was basically born as a jew in bentalam in the 4th century bc and it is believed to have possess a very supernatural powers he traveled at different parts alarmed and preachings that we continue to do alarmed by the growing popularity of jesus christ in his preaching where some jew priest tried to kill him and succeeded in having him cru- crucified later on kaha jata hai ki on third day after his crucifixion jesus he was resurrected he lived on the earth for another 40 days and then he ascended to the heavens the incident preceding the succeeding his birth <coughs> matched the prophecies of the old testament prophecy old testament mein kya diya hua hai according to which the son of the god would be born on the earth and he would be helping in getting rid the sins of humanity the followers of jesus 
they formed the new faith after which Christianity and the Christians they became popular. The fundamental principles of that are there in Christianity are they are monotheist and insist on originator and preserver of the preserver of creation is one. What is represented in the Holy Trinity that is Father, that is Son and the Holy Spirit. The Christians they see God as the Lord of Israel and Father of the divine and human figure of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was basically the eternal word of the God who assumed the God he, he human form to assume Kia to rescue the problems of human beings. He's Christ suffered and died to redeem the human mankind from various sins. The Christians, they also believe in that Jesus Christ is now sitting at the right hand of the God as the final judge of the dead and that he will return again as prophesied. Bible, that is the holy book of the Christians, contains the writing that is dating from 9th century BC to 1st century AD and written in Hebrew, Aramaic, Greek and English also. The Bible is basically divided into the Old Testament with 46 books and the New Testament with 27 New to test, uh, Testaments with 27 books. The Old text, Testament ki jab baat karte, it is basically the Hebrew text and contains both the Jews and Christians and contains the information regarding the creation of the world. The life and teachings of basically Jesus Christ they form the center of the Christian belief and they are basically recorded in the New Testament. Different sects are there. Christianity, it became a formal religion of the Roman Empire after Constantine. The Emperor of Rome, he was basically converted to Christianity. The religion was basically known as Catholic or Iska Matlab University with the Roman Pope being the head of it. By 1054 AD, the differences arose and Wahape differences emerged when I say formally split into the Eastern Orthodox and the Western Roman Catholic. In the 15th century, the new school of philosophy began to question the supremacy of the Pope and 16th century, it was Martin Luther who advocated that we need to bring about various reforms in the church. The protestants that were there, which were formed across because they were uh, demanding the reforms, they disapproved the authority of the Pope and advanced the cause of the Bible as the sole authority. Christianity, when you talk about India, it came to southern part of the country with the arrival of St. Thomas, he was there. He came in 52 AD in the Malabar coast region and spent a good amount of time in South India and died near Madras. However, others believe that the first missionary to arrive in the country was basically St. Bartholomew Louis. Historically, the Christian missionary activity they basically started with the advent of Francis Xavier in 1544 AD when the Christian missionaries they started moving to different parts of the world. Throughout the 18th and the 19th century, the Catholic or Protestant missionaries preached Christianity doctrines in India also. An expansion also took place with the coming of the East India Company. Different churches are there, for example, the Syrian Church founded in South India and claim an apostolic foundation of the church. They believe that Christianity was introduced in South India by St. Thomas. Then there is the Roman Catholic Church that is also there. With the arrival of the Portuguese to India, the Roman Catholic Church was being established. The Francis Xavier became the first Jesus missionary to arrive in India. The Protestant mission. The first Protestant missionaries, basically German Lutherans, came to India in 1706. And by the 19th century, various other missions they also came. The North Indian Church. Some are considering that St. Thomas has traveled to Northern India and considered Christianity. 
Other consider that it was under the influence of the merchants from the Gulf of Persian, Persian Gulf, जिसकी वजह से an Arabian Sea से जो merchants आए थे उन्होंने आके यहाँ पे establish किया. Portuguese were there under the influence it was established. The Jesus missions were sent regularly to the Mughal court at the time of Akbar, से लेके औरंगजेब के time तक. Next is Islam. The religion, basically, the religion teaches that, in order to be true, to achieve the true peace of mind and surety of the heart, one must. अगर आपने true peace of mind और surety of heart को achieve करना है, one must be submitting to God and live according to the divine, divinely revealed law जो भगवान ने आपको दिया हुआ है. Muslim Shabd ka matlab hai the one who is submitting to the will of the God regardless of their race, of their nationality and ethnic background also. The Muslims believe that all God prophets for example which include the Abraham, Noza, Noah, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad etc. They brought the same message of the pure monotheism ke message ko karte hai. For this reason, Prophet Muhammad is Prophet Muhammad is not being considered as the founder of new religion, as many people mistakenly think. But he was the final prophet of Islam. Principles of Islam, according to the traditional Islamic belief, the religion has existed since time immemorial. Allah, that is the Almighty God, had created an Adam. That is the father of human progeny, out of the lump of clay, and therefore commanded the angel to greet him with sijda, sijda kia a prostration of in humility. They all, all the angels obeyed the command of the command with the exception of Iblis, that is Shaitan. Shaitan ko chhod ke sab Bhagwan ki baat mante hain. This resulted in Shaitan's condemnation and Allah's Command, commanded that whosoever followed the Shaitan path will forfeit his pleasure and that his abode will also be in the fire of hell eternity. There are certain basic principles that are there, beliefs that are there in Islam that is Tawahid. This means believe in one unique incomparable God that is the creator, the ruler and the sustainer. They also believe in the existence of angels of God as the honored creature. Belief in the God's revealed book. Belief in the prophets and messengers of God. They also believe in the day of judgment and life after death. Belief in the complete authority of God over the human destiny. Different sects of Islam, they emerged with the passage of time and two important sects are Shia and Sunni. Just ke baare mein aapne kaafi sunte bhi hai. Though essentially following the same belief and tenets, they differ on two points. The succession of Prophet Muhammad and the religious authority of the Islam after him. Yehi jo main buddha hai. The Shia is a minority branch of Islam that take, makes up about one-tenth of the total population. They are basically important number hai. Arab countries mein paai jati hai. Iraq, Iran, Lebanon, Bahrain. They consider Ali that is son-in-law of the Prophet as their rightful heir. He was rightful heir. They maintain that Ali was the first legitimate Imam or Khalifa and therefore reject Ab Abu Bakr, Omar and Osman as the first three Khalifas of the Sunni as Asar person ko bukhte hai. There are two main Shiite sect that are basically being prevalent. The believers are by so far the largest group of that uh, the 12 words are the largest group of the Shia Islam. They basically believe in the line of Ali. They however refuse to accept the uh, accept that Al Askari died and believe that he will short appear shortly before the end of the world. Next is the Islamite or the Sevenards are the second largest uh, Shia uh, sect that is there. The spiritual leader is Aga Khan. The Ismailite, which is the first only recognize the first uh, seven first Imams. Inko recognize karte. 
सुन्नी की बेटा बात हो रही है इट इज़ द मेन ब्रांच ऑफ इस्लाम एंड रिकोगनाइज द लेजिटिमेसी ऑफ द फर्स्ट फोर कैलिफ्स और खलीफा सुवर देयर दे बिलीव दैट द ऑफिस ऑफ द प्रॉफिट वाज नॉट हेरिडेटरी एंड नो वन कुड क्लेम टू बी द सोल हेयर द कमटी चूज अपने में से एक को कैसे चूज करते हैं खलीफा दे आर फोर्थ और फोर चार ऑर्थोडॉक्स सेक्ट हैं अमंग द सुन्नी मुस्लिम दैट इज हनीफा फॉलोअर्स ऑफ इमाम अबू हनीफा शेफिया मलिकिया एंड हनाबिलिया दीज आर द फोर इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑर्थोडॉक्स सेक्ट दैट आर बेसिकली बींग फाउंड इन द सुन्नी मुस्लिम एक इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट है खलीफा का इस्लाम में मीन्स द सक्सेसर और द डेपटी इट इज़ यूज टू डेजिग्नेट द प्रॉफिट सक्सेसर एज द लीडर ऑफ द मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी This title was used by the successive Arab Empire and also by the Ottoman sultans. Also, the Ottoman Caliphate was maintained by uh, for two years after the abolition of the Sultanate. Uh, that until it was abolished basically by Kamal Pasha in 1924. Next is Jurastrianism, founded by Jurast. basic or jurastral in the 8th century bc that preached in monotheism in the region now known as persia he basically taught the worship of fire the presence of the good or bad in the form of ahura majda and ahura men <clears throat> religion basically spread into whole of persia and in the nearby region also next religion is judaism <clears throat> it is one of the oldest religion of the world and basically evolved in egypt around 3700 years ago <clears throat> it believes in the unity and oneness of the universal creator it is basically a religion philosophy a way of life basically for the jewish people the indian jews are also considered as peace loving community and also they follow the hebrew calendar they have a special thank giving ceremony known as ali eliyahu a uh, underbird that is gratitude to elija the prophet on festive occasions indian jews they fall into five categories that is bene israel cochin jews baghdadi jews that are there bene manseha and bene ephraim these are basically the important categories that are there then this differences and similarities which are given between hinduism buddhism and both of them which are there both of them ye humne pehle hi discuss kar chuke hain vedas ke bare mein kya bolta hai buddhism dharma caste system karm moksha ke bare mein kya hai hinduism aur buddhism nirvan ke bare mein concept hai four noble truth ke bare mein bataya gaya meditation eight fold path three pitikas all of these we have already covered there certain things which are differences between uh, jainism and buddhism their similarities ke baat chalte hue jainism is one of the most ancient creeds that has been there in india 24 teerthankaras are there which are there the concept of soul jainism ke conception of the soul different from that of buddhism the jain basically they ascribe the life to plants stones and water with the buddhist reject them the concept of jeev and ajeev is entirely different from the concept of soul of the buddhism that has been there not only this the jainas they practice regular asceticism that is on the other hand buddhism make middle path diya gaya hai mahavir advised his followers to discard garments while buddha denounced that practice the jain practice of extreme form of ahimsa or the non tolerance they do not want that even the insect should be killed they ascribe basically what they say that they ascribe life is there almost everywhere har jagah pe life hai therefore it becomes important to protect and preserve almost every individual this extreme form is not available in buddhism jainism basically seeks to destroy the evil aspects of karma by rigorous penance by non violence by self mortification etc 
the buddhist on the other hand they believe that the evil aspect of karma could be, cannot be extinguished in this life rather try to destroy the various impulses that are producing jo karma ko destroy karne ki koshish karte hain jainism do not entirely reject the caste system but it was rejected by buddhism in the buddhist literature there is severe criticism of jainism doctrine which presupposes the great rivalry between both the creeds that are existing in the later development while buddhism became a world religion jainism basically progressed only in india and do not moved much beyond it the buddhist displayed the great missionary zeal which was not seen in jainism while the buddhism has practice uh, are practically vanished from india different centers of jainism they are there for example in ujjain and other places so friends these is basically the second chapter that jo humne abhi khatam kiya hai try to learn it revise it and questions can definitely be asked from this section thank you very much friends we would be again we continuing to discuss other important chapters of art and culture thank you very much